Hello, and welcome to the Underhive. And thank you for rejoining me here with our man. What's his name? Radana Hoss. Yeah, oh, so, so funny, I almost forgot it there. But we'll leave that in, don't worry. So, we are going to start off with a little practice fight here. We'd like to participate in a practice fight. Yes, I shall. And we've got a sword and some throwing spears. Not not the best. I'd like a, like a shield, ideally, but... But these throwing spears certainly aren't a bad selection. Oh, no. We've got an archer there. Another archer over there. Oh, they're all archers. What's this? Oh, well, we nailed him in one. Has anybody got a shield? Oh, great. Archer fight. Well, we'll, we'll see if we can get a bit further with one. All right, so we've got a bow now. Is it just like all archers and swords in, in this arena? Because I'll probably not do many practice fights if there's no shields. If it's all ranged all the time. The intention was to build up my athletics a little bit. And ideally one-handed. Oh, right, okay, there's a shield over there. There's a shield. It looks like. In fact, there's two of them. So we are in either way. Whoa, throwing knives at dawn. Come on! Yes. Right, we're laughing now. Yeah, you can throw them all you want, son. trying out some throwing knives because I've never used them. At any moment somebody could sneak. Okay, uh, he's going for it, is he? Feels like a larger arena, this. Which makes sense because there's a lot of, uh, of horse-related activity. <laughs> Eleven remaining. I can only imagine one of them is going to come up behind me with a, a bow and arrow. <coughs> oh, sneaky. Shot me in the hand there. That's my sword hand. Oh, come on. He was still drawing that. Come on, we'll have one more. We'll have one more. Yeah, I don't like our odds. Seems to have a decent throwing on, arm on him, the man there. Yes. Let's see if we can get this fella done. go with this. He couldn't have much left in him. We're gonna take the uh, sword though, because spear and shield isn't isn't very fun. Go on, then we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. We just wanted a little bit of a taste. So um, I don't think the I don't think they had anything here worthy of worthy of our time. No. That's not bad, but it, it, I don't want to spend five grand for two extra armor on head. 
doesn't seem great. So we shall just carry on. In fact, we'll go off to the west again. Can we not? Oh, okay, we can't go that way. Oh, so this is new. This this looks changed. So there's there's been a patch. Um, well, today I think since since the uh, the last episode, and this looks very different. Uh, it loaded it loaded nicer as well and there's no reason that they shouldn't load really quickly at all on this machine Cut loose um, formation! yeah I mean I don't I can't see any reason why it should so but sometimes graphically like the the shirts are loading at low res and then build themselves up to full quality so yeah no real no real reason for it oh that is a big stab right in the head of course we are on a new Asarai horse We'd really like to get ourselves a couching lance. So we could just plow into him at full speed on the old Asarai whip. I'm going to stop saying that. <laughs> In case you were uh, getting sick of it. So we could put them into being Mamluk soldiers, but they have no shields, so I don't want that. We are saving them up to become horsemen. Have a quick check in. Got a tournament, we'll take it. Don't mind the Azurai tournaments. Same helmet as we've got, but we'll uh, we'll live with that. On the shield, as as I expected. Can hear him. Someone's coming for me. No, that was never going to be. Team Red going down there. Not ideal. It's charging in on him though. We could broach over into uh, archery at some point. Oh, I've got throwing knives as me other weapon. It's not really ideal for close range. Mm, this isn't going to go down well. I did not expect to be given ranged and throwing only. On team red. Yes. We shall take that. Oh, weren't far off. Now that we're back on horse, though, we will uh, we will show this fellow what what he's missing out on. That's the team red motto. <laughs> It <laughs> doesn't make any sense, but it's the motto. Oh, crashed my horse. Look, he's covered in blood. Not a very good day, really. Well, better than that one, at least. Oh, he's a right slippery kipper, this fella. There we go. Club and mace. We've got no other weapon. Sorry, uh, shield and mace is what I meant. Boshed him right on noggin, and we'll go wide. That's very good. Oh, it skirted past his head there. We're just going to pick these up. There we go. Got some good ammo now. Oh, not a million miles away. Got him with one. 
<laughs> yes, we got him under the horse. Clubbed. If you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, hit him with a club. Really feeling the benefit of the one-handed upgrade now that, well, just one-handed usage. It's definitely swinging that bit quicker. Boshed. We're going to try and give them the old fan favourite here. I think one more lighter hit. There we go, and now we'll give him the old. Oh, he didn't die. Yes! Double Achilles, one to the chops. What we won? Helmet, we didn't need. Ah, right. So I had, um, I had a message saying that uh, Bannerlord Tweaks isn't working. So uh, for this episode, we won't have Bannerlord Tweaks on. So we'll just deal with it, but that obviously meant we didn't get a reward for the tournament because we didn't put a bet on. Well, we got a, we got a helmet, but we didn't we didn't get any cash prize. So we haven't got any of the Bannerlord tweaks situation on. So we're not getting the extra XP, and that's more or less it. That's the only thing I have really on the Bannerlord tweaks. There's like there's some odd little bits like you get you get money for tournaments and and things like that, but. It, it doesn't it doesn't change loads about it. Um, obviously, it takes the stamina out of smithing as well, but that's kind of by the by. We're not really bothered about smithing for this character. Not right now, anyway, at the least. So. Does also do cut through or slice through enemies, um, but that's only on two-handed sword. Well, two-handed weapons anyway, and I don't think a two-handed spear counts. So. Uh, so again, not not really going to make all that much difference. I feel like that would have got him if it was on target. Oh, right in the uh, rib cage. If I recognise that scream. Skewered him against the shield wall there. Oh yeah, really prisoner heavy now. We'll get another few chaps. I think we'll go up to 25 total, as well as us. And we'd quite like to get rid of them, the prisoners, that is. But we'll kill these first. Nah, we'll leave it to rumour. So presumably there will be a patch for Bannerlord Tweaks. Uh, I will certainly have a look for one. But we'll uh, we'll still do this episode anyway, regardless. A larger, larger group of bandits. Oh yeah, that's so much quicker. That's immediate. That's very good. I'm happy with that. I think they've done a great job with that. Stand apart! As per usual, we are going to charge in headlong. That there desert exposure. Didn't really get much done there, but... Oh, went the wrong side. Give him a little slow tickle there. No, oh, we did lose a couple. But that's fine. Mm. You're not going to get away. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. 
But yeah, the uh, that menu looks uh, looks very much improved, so I'm happy with that. We did lose a couple. We will get ourselves further to the west. See if we can help out some of the guys that offer elite troops. Mm -hmm. It's okay, but I'm not paying five grand. Get rid of all of that. Another two and a half for us. We're getting towards the point where we can afford a workshop. And realistically, we're, we are at the point where we'll make money on it. Um, I think once we can afford the horses, our wages will very likely shoot up. But for now, we are okay. We're not really bothered about. Uh, we'll see. What does he? What does he? No, he only offers regulars, so we'll not bother. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't gang up there. I've got to say though, the um. The looters on the menu do all seem to look the same. Which they didn't used to. There was variety previously. I mean, there's only so many haircuts and so many beards. and They are all male. I think, in fact, I think every actor, if you like, uh, aside from female main characters, is male. And, you know, if you look at the time period, like, I'm not saying it's okay, but just, you know, things were different a thousand years ago. Um, so, uh, I don't think that's that unreasonable. Um, but, you know, not going to not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. I'm very surprised they didn't try and combo us. But we will hunt them down nonetheless. Guzid is going to try and join us. We will welcome him. Yeah, they're all this same sort of dark, medium brown maybe hair and, and twin foot, well, forked beard. Um, which is fine. Like, I haven't got any problem with the looter looking like that, but... You'd imagine, unless they've emigrated into the desert, they probably wouldn't look like that if they were looters from the local area. That's what we want. We want some troops like that. But then they aren't the brightest sparks, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's he's cut a decent path there, but... Tried to keep him on screen while we were doing our killing. Let's see if any of them go down. Yeah, they have a they have a really diverse mix of weaponry. The uh, the Asari, perhaps due to their sort of trader culture, like their their, their culture benefit is caravans. Um, so maybe it's a case of well, they actually use everything because their their culture is to trade and and they have access to everything. So you know, could be that. Definitely getting there on the on the upgraded unit front though. All those guys are ready to be going once we've got the 25 horses required. And I don't see why we wouldn't want to do that this episode if possible. I don't think I can afford 25 horses though. We'll get ourselves... Oh right, okay, we're very far south. We'll get ourselves over to Ascar. And we'll see if we can... Oh, we are running out of food as well. Well, we've run out. Can we get over there any quicker? No. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. Don't worry. We will sort that out, boys. Morale is very low. Grain is dirt cheap here. That is the cheapest I've seen it. We'll stock up on grain. 
Um, and yeah, we'll 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 just have grain, I think. So they've got twenty five desert horses, and we we can easily afford that. So why wouldn't we? I'm gonna wait until we've got all the troops where we'd like them. But if three of them are wounded, why would we keep them? Easily replaced. Help with outlaws. Presumably that mean is like help with help with bandits, but it doesn't tell you that it's bandits. It's fair enough. Bandit base. I don't think we can do that for them. No, we're not we're not really bothered about looking for daughters. Oh, it's a shame we'd have loved to have um, helped those villagers there and got some some renown and some favour for that, but Jump loose! Stand apart! Not gonna be the case. We'll just go in again. Straight in on the Asarai horse, straight in with the spear. Gotta say I'm not not massively enjoying this weapon, but I um I do wanna stick to this character build, because we've done everything else, so we'll see this one through and then from there we'll just go with with what feels right at the time down the dunes we come oh they uh yeah they very much caused me to fail to thread the needle there he was distracted there though we got him in the uh, in the opposite direction and we will take that. Um, well, we saved 11 peasants. I know they're not. nothing's going to happen as a result, but I feel better for that. And we are very close, potentially the next fight, from uh, from getting where we want to get. And in fact, I'm just going to go 20, 25 people strong. That means all the kills here that aren't by us will be by that group, and that should secure all of them levelling up. Give them hell! Go on, the uh, the warriors, or whatever you are, Mamelukes. Oh yeah, this is a lovely bit of desert. It always baffles me that like people make a living out in the desert. Like, well, not so much make a living. Like, I'm sure they don't like pay income tax and stuff. But as in, they, you know, people people live out in the desert like this. It baffles me. They've they've got to be like the most industrious and clever people going like to to manage that is a real feat. I don't think I'd last five minutes without running water. But there you go. We're not all cut from the same cloth. A few of them did go down. We did lose a, a chap, that's not ideal. Oh, and we've gone way over on the prisoner count as well. Well, we'll uh, we'll just go down to 20, and we will upgrade them all. There we go, 23. We'll go with 23. I prefer it an even number, but I'll take it. And in fact, yeah, what we'll do is we'll. Uh, I know we've just wasted some, but we'll we'll say goodbye to three of them. They can start their own clan, and we'll have 20 fellas plus us. And then we'll save the rest of the spots for any elite troops we may well acquire. Alright, there's no more <laughs> there's no more towns this way. I should have checked that out first. Get ourselves back over to Quaraz. Go via Ain Balik. We'll get in here, get rid of them prisoners, and then we can have another scrap at potentially with these guys. Or those guys. And there is a tournament as well. We'll do the tournament first. Don't want it to end in the meantime. So, of course, we're not going to get experience in the tournament. Or if we do, it's very, very little. So, we'll just we'll just deal. We'd get a bamboo axe for this. Our friend over there is uh, secretly Hawkeye because they have got a cracking shot on them. See if we can hit this fella. Nah. 
But then he has only got a knife. So I think we're safe. We would like to fight the peasant. Gang up on the armoured fella, get him removed. Yes. Oh, luckily we got through though. Tribesmen did us. Tribesmen absolutely did us, but we've got through. Weren't far off. Sorry, horse. Oh, got him in the back there, though. Finished him. He's done well there, blocking that. Oh, went a bit early. Alright, there's no need for that. Keep him at spear's length. him to outrun us and then trying it in with a big overhead oh I think we I think we sort of scraped on his saddle there not my finest tournament performance but we are in it's me and a Mamluk when we finally get over to him. That was, uh, oh well, that was silly. Completely my fault. It was only an axe and we didn't need it anyway and of course there was no prize money so it's neither here nor there. And we will kill these 14 and test out our new Mamluks. Yep, they are all the same. I imagine they're probably working on that though. Yeah! Wouldn't be. I can't. I can't see it being too much different from like deciding that you know, like specific troops have like say four helmet options. Like they don't all wear exactly the same, so it doesn't get a bit boring on the battlefield. Um, and as you can see, like the looters, some have hammers, some have clubs, some have um, like axes, some have uh, pitchforks. So they whatever code it is that, that decides you know uh, looter one has this looter two has that um what whatever that is oh so do they charge in oh right okay so these are good i thought they oh no yeah these ones are the ones that are cav and then they upgrade into archers but yeah i, I think whatever code decides that would probably be the same thing they would need to apply similar principle at least to that well i'm happy with that Right in the neck. Well, given I need to nip away and sort out Bannerlord tweaks, or at least check if there's a new version, I will leave that episode there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time in the Underhive.